Ray, I have a new message from Mr. Huang. Would you like me to play it for you? Yeah, play it for me. Here are your assignment instructions. Each of you will invent a new device based on what we've been studying. Take a look at the details of similar projects from past courses. That's enough. Get out of the dirty water. Problem-based learning is nothing new. But in this age of connectedness and information overload, problem-based learning provides a framework by which to search, identify, categorize, and create in meaningful ways. Ray has just been given what some might call a grand challenge. Lucky for him, he has plenty of human and technological support. Hey, hon. Dinner's in 15 minutes. Okay. I'll be done in a few minutes. Thanks, Mom. Ray, you also have calculus homework you haven't started yet. Okay. Thanks, Einstein. Will you put all this into collection for now and bring on my calculus? With Ray and Victoria's schedules, I can't do the volunteer work, but I can do a ride-along one evening per week, so I'm going to sign up for that. Sounds like you've got it all under control. Ray, my man. Hi, sweetheart. I haven't seen you since you've been home. I have this huge project I'm working on. It's going to be really cool, but it's kind of hard. Sounds interesting. Tell you what, tell your abuelo all about it. I was actually thinking about you today. Do you remember when you were telling me about that clean water project you were working on when you were in the army? Can I run some things by you? I like what you're doing right here. I would think you would need two instead of one here, and maybe check out what they're doing with carbon fiber. All right, that's awesome, Mr. Wong. Thanks. Have a nice evening, Ray. Einstein, what are some local places that manufacture carbon fiber? Call Kate. Hey, Ray. Kate, I just finished touring the manufacturing plant and I need some help. Do you think carbon fiber would work for this? I'm sending it now. Uh, got it. Yeah. Yeah, that could work with the compression mold. I can send over the semi road up and you can test it. That'll be awesome. I owe you one. And send me your notes from Mr. Mummert's Civil War class last year. I'm struggling, and all your notes help me understand it better. Deal. Thanks, Kate. I'll see ya. Call Vic's voicemail. Hey, sis. Mom told me to pick you up from your practice on my way home. I should be there by the time your practice is over if I can avoid the construction on Lincoln. I'll see you in a few. Ray, all of the simulations are complete and no errors were found. Would you like to submit your project now? Yes, please submit the final project collection to Mr. Huang and then bring up my presentation so I can practice. Every person on the planet relies on clean water to live. We all know that. Clean water? is essential, but so too is the ability to create clean water from any source, quickly, in any location, and at little, little to no cost, cost to the individual. Thank you. All right, everyone. Our winner will have a prototype manufactured and field tested. You've seen all the final presentations. Please cast your vote for the projects that will have the most impact.
Your votes have been counted, and the winning prototype is being manufactured right now. Our winner is Ray. Congratulations, Ray. Congratulations, Ray. Thank you. You've created something that really has the potential to create a huge impact and change the world. Will education look like this in the future? Will it be about problem finding and not just solving symptoms? Will learning be authentic and at the same time promote critical thinking and creativity that is also measurable? Will the connected student experience curriculum integration and flipped learning that also encourages them to search, remix, create, revise, master, and even distribute solutions and ideas quickly, all the while promoting deep learning? We think so, and that's what we're working on.